thanks very much. Thanks, everyone, to the audience in the room. And thanks very much to those who follow us online. I'd like to use this um, um, gathering uh, place of ANCBA to share with you the um, work we are doing at um, INSIBE. We were discussing yesterday, the Secretary of State mentioned that, that we have an investment of 2040, uh, 24 uh, million euros. So we like to share what, how the process looks like, where we come from and where we, we are going. So let's start at the beginning. On the 1st of July, we published a preliminary consultation with the market with a view to listen to you, to listen to the industry, to know what are the needs of the, the industry and how is the uh, technological offer that the industry is, is ready to offer. And then we articulated uh, the offer around seven uh, pillars and we have been receiving proposals from all of you until the 6th of, of September. Once we have gathered all that information, um, the phase we are in now is the phase of analysis and assessment to verify all these uh, proposals. And with all that information, we will build the um, early demand map, which is the map of needs um, that need to be covered via um, CPI. So we are now in, in the middle of building up this, this early demand map. Once we've done that, the next step is to publish, to uh, uh, and that process will uh, last until June to, uh, 20, uh, 26. I would like to elaborate on the process of CPI. It is a flexible process and it will be modified along the way. The early demand map will be updated along the way. This is a long-term project. Uh, so new challenges will be um, incorporated. So we are still open to uh, to you to new proposals from you. So going a bit into detail about the preliminary consultation with the market, we have received a total of 260 proposal that give a response to the seven action items that we define. So we are happy about this. And we, we see that there's a lot of interest from uh, uh, the industry. On the left, you can see the number of uh, uh, proposals per action. So we see that some actions have uh, uh, been more interested than, than others. But there is... Uh, decent number on all of them that allow us to move on um, for instance uh, I, I um, plus D um, with 21 or um, some others and regarding the uh, type of entities that have presented those proposals, we see that most of the proposals come from the business world. And there are 88 coming from large companies, but we also see a decent volume of proposals coming from SMEs with uh, 90, 97 proposals, micro businesses. 27 and startups as well 
uh, with uh, 20, 26 and 27, yes. So, so we see that the initiative is attractive for all companies, no matter the size. To a lesser degree, we have received proposals f uh, as uh, um, business groups, universities, and other groups. So speaking about the budget, we see that the global budget of the proposal is close to 900 uh, million euros. And the public investment uh, would represent uh, 737, uh, 35 uh, million euros. So going a bit more into detail, we see that the co-financing um, has more weight related to AI plus D programs. But on all the um, action items, there's um, a share of um, public financing. So let's go um, uh, action item by action item. So. First action, action one, joint research and development program. Here, what we're seeking is to launch joint research and development program between the Inthibe and large traction companies. The idea behind it is to launch solutions that provide a high impact from the strategic point of view. Therefore, we are seeking to focus ourselves on solutions, on low uh, impact solutions, and we do hope that they can move to higher uh, TRLs later down the line. The companies that sent the proposals for this kind of actions are, as we expected, large enterprises which will act as traction companies, but we do also include the possibility of outsourcing a large chunk of the program to SMEs, technological centers, and universities. As far as the challenges are concerned, uh, briefly, in the column to the right, you can see some of the challenges that the proposals will uh, give a, a response to. And then with regard to the actions for SME solutions, here what we're seeking is to buy solutions to allow to attend to the needs in terms of cybersecurity of Spanish businesses. Therefore, what we are looking at is an organized purchase process around three stages. Stage one is the development of the solution itself. A second stage will be the demonstration and testing. And then a third and last stage, uh, the operational stage, uh, for a long enough time and with a large enough a volume, including some five, 55,000 SMEs, in order to verify uh, that the solution does work and actually covers the needs of cybersecurity of these SMEs. The challenges, again, in the column to the right, uh, you can see a brief summary of these challenges that the proposals aim to cover. Action three is geared towards strategic sectors. And here what we seek is to buy solutions that allow to uh, cover the needs in terms of cybersecurity of strategic sectors that we identified in the directive, uh, the NA NAS2 uh, directive uh, here, the challenges that we're trying to cover are identified. Then again, in the column to the right, in a non-exhaustive uh, manner and always uh, built uh, based on uh, the information received from the industry. Public sector uh, solutions, this is action four. And as part of uh, this action, what we'd want to do is to buy innovative uh, solutions and technology to attend to the needs 
in terms of cybersecurity of public administration so that they can provide their services with a high level of security. Here, something to be highlighted is the mobilization that we have perceived on the part of a high volume of administrations, public administrations, in the three areas, both for state, uh, regional and local. And then again, the challenges that we are seeking to cover are basically all the challenges that you can or you have to face as a public entity. And again, they are contained in the come to the right. We are including uh, action five, what we call in solutions. And in the framework of this uh, action, what we seek is to buy solutions that allow us to improve our own capacities, infrastructures, and uh, cybersecurity uh, equipment here. Just as in the action for SMEs, we are thinking about a, a stage for the development of the solution and another one to demonstrate and validate the solution in a real environment, uh, the real environment being our own infrastructures. Action six is aimed at training capacity building around cyber security and here what we seek is to buy technological solutions that can offer innovation in terms of uh, building capacity and training future cyber security professionals in short the challenge that we want to cover here is to introduce further innovation in the way we present uh, cyber uh, security training processes and finally we have action seven, what we call the action for smaller projects. And in this type of action, despite the earlier actions, the ultimate target, the final or end user is not really a group, but it can be either the public sector, SMEs or strategic sector. The differential point about this action is, on the one hand, there is a budget limit in the preliminary consultation on the market. The, the maximum was 240,000 euros per project. And on the other hand, this is aimed specifically at startups and uh, SMEs, uh, which are highly innovative. On the basis of the proposals received, they all come from uh, SMEs and startups. We can confirm that the model has been understood and that there is enough market share uh, so as to launch this uh, number of projects, which are again highly innovative. Okay, so this is the picture right now, and uh, looking ahead at the immediate future the next steps that we will take are as follows first of all we will start uh, with a, an interview stage with some of the entities that uh, submitted the proposals at the preliminary consultation uh, with the market uh, obviously internally at in Thibet, we will need to uh, check and validate the appropriateness of uh, the applications received and with, our, with all that information what we will do is to create the early demand map uh, defined as we have already pointed out as the range of uh, uncovered needs and let me just insist uh, then again that this will be a flexible document that will be updated as uh, the process uh, unfolds with all this once we have defined what the early demand map is, we will move on to the validation of such map with the key stakeholders on the market that are part of the governance model for innovative solution uh, procurement. And just to let you know, we will know the dates when the uh, bids will be published and with that we will uh, publish and share the early demand map it will be presented publicly and from that moment we will start uh, launching 
the different bidding processes and tenders. We look forward to hope to do this from the end of this year until 2026. That's all from me. I would like to thank once again uh, all of you for your support and interest in this uh, large, ambitious um, program of innovative public procurement and I remain at your disposal throughout the entire process. You continue to listen to you and to uh, know your proposals. Thank you.